Lee, how are you, man? Doing great. What an awesome party again. It's fun. It's uh, And we're back in Los Angeles finally after 30 years. And it happens that I lived in Culver City as a kid, and I used to jump the fence because they had these big backdrops. So it would be a Western theme. It would be uh, uh, old Mexico. It would be all that. So it feels like redemption to be back here. So speaking of redemption and stuff, also this event is not only about about you and your 35th anniversary and your career, but also the Lantern Network. So how are you involved with that? Um, I'm a big supporter of the Lantern Network. They are who we're raising money for here um, because of the amazing work they do taking at-risk kids and mentoring them and pointing them towards a business uh, career. So they can, they can change people's lives and uh, we're hoping that uh, we raise a ton of money for them. How much different is it being an agent now than from 30 years ago? Night and day, when I started 47 years ago, um, there was no field of uh, organized representation. Someone could slam down the phone and say, we don't deal with uh, agents. And um, um, so the money's exploded, social media's exploded, the young players are much more uh, media savvy, but they're also um, shorter attention span. And so, uh, but the ways that football engages people, whether it's fantasy sports, whether it's, uh, we're about to have paramutual betting, it's, it's really exploded. I saw some of the Wakanda actors here and NFL players. Like, who gets invited and who's here today? Um, well, it's a it's a combination of big business, sports, uh, entertainment, and the rest. So, we're giving humanitarian awards to Tom Falesco, the general manager of the Chargers, to a series of players and retired players. Uh, but you know, you don't. There's Adam Sandler and Snoop Dogg, and and we sort of meld these fields together, trying to do good. I heard also you're involved with the CTV group and Direct Sports Network, like Richard Gillum. How's that uh, work into your business play? Richard is a business genius in that he's been able to, with his vision, chart the um, where markets are going and what the needs are that 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 people would um, have, and that's going to be a massive success. This, is, this party here is on the Sony lot, and I heard you guys spent like a lot of money, so how is that all put together? I know Leanne is like instrumental in putting it together. How is this all put together? And also, you have to, everyone's tugging at you to talk to you, so how, that's why I wanted you to sit down, and how's this all been? Um, it's exciting. I love people, and, and it's great to have a whole mixture uh, together, and we're raising awareness about brain health, and we're raising all sorts of, uh, of consciousness. And uh, so we're doing good while we're having fun. Lee, you're one of the top walking, talking legends of your industry. Uh, I've never heard anything. I photographed you a few times. I've never heard a single bad thing about you. You have a great reputation. Um, how do you do that? I feel like I, I, if, I, if some friends were to talk about me, they'd be like, yeah, but Fernando does this. Like, how have you kept it so like Teflon clean? By trying to focus on core fundamental values sense of self-respect, living in a community where people care for each other, and being part of a, um, uh, a larger network. But it's also good listening skills. It's being able to draw another person out so that we're able to understand their deepest anxieties and fears and their greatest hopes and dreams.